Are you really looking forward to a holiday but can't risk foreign travel at the moment due to the unpredictability of the pandemic? In this video, I'm going to show you an increasingly popular way to enjoy the UK on the cheap. Be sure to stay until the end to see more videos in this series. I've spent the last year converting a VW T5, but this is a look back at my first ever camper van, the VW Caddy from 2014. Camper vans and motorhomes are crazy expensive right now. There is a huge shortage of large vans on the second hand market, forcing prices to rocket. However, if you're wanting something simple to get away in during the spring and summer, why not convert a small van into a micro camper? Now is a great time to start looking and converting so you're ready to go. My kitchen unit was a cheap mini desk that cut out a hole for the sink. It was ideal. Underneath I stored water and had a wastewater system. I did not install a gas locker as I decided that would take up too much room so I opted for a small butane gas canister stove that could easily cook inside or outside of the van. I removed the bulkhead and insulated the walls, floor and ceiling, replaced the ply lining and then used veltering carpet to tidy it up. If you don't like the carpet on walls look then lightweight cladding is a great alternative. Importantly utilise space as much as possible in a micro camper. I bought my equipment first including the Fetford toilet and then measured the bed to fit over it. Don't forget you need a comfortable seating height, you don't want your head hitting the ceiling when you sat down. Storage is important and you will realise just how much stuff you don't need. I didn't add a storage box to the roof because I was able to keep some stuff in my parents loft, but for you, you may need to add a storage box to the roof of the van. Bought an inexpensive Peltier style cool box for 40 quid and found the energy consumption was extremely high. However, for weekend use only, you could plug it in at home and get it down to temperature before your trip. Used a split charge relay from the starter battery to the 86 amp leisure battery. Found this was fine for charging my phone, USB speakers and powering the lighting, etc. I charged my laptop using the Dometic inverter. The bed length was about 1.7 meters and I added a hinge flap to the foot end behind the driver's seat to extend the bed to 1.9 meters so that it was plenty long enough for myself. I'm uh, 1.78 meters. All I had to do was move and tilt the driver's seat forward. The mattress I used is actually an exercise mat and it wasn't long before I doubled up on this. Pretty obvious now when I look back. I built the bed design just for one person and then later I extended the width of the bed to make it more comfortable and usable by two. I used thermal window screens to keep the sun from becoming unbearable on hot days and to keep the chill off during the colder nights. I did put a limo tint on the rear window but didn't do a great job as it was quite crinkled but it did have privacy. I also had an internal curtain that divided the front seats from the rear for extra privacy when I wasn't using the thermal blinds. So it was in this VW Caddy camper van I set off in early 2015 and spent many months touring the south coast of England living on a shoestring budget. In the description below are affiliate links to most of the things I had inside my very first van. And in the next look back video I will tell you what the total cost was to convert my Caddy van with a rough breakdown of all the materials used and the stuff I bought. So be sure to subscribe to find out more.